carrier bird. <laughs> Your turn, Puck. Oh dear. Poor Puck. Never mind, Puck. I'll do it. Hello? Hello? Mobile, and now the phone isn't working either. I know. I think it was the snowstorm last night. It seems to have affected everything. Oh, great. And I wanted to invite Zelda and the family for dinner tomorrow evening. I expect the lines will be working again by tomorrow. I hope so. Grandma, what did we do before telephones were invented? Everyone got on quite happily without them. Hmm. They used to write letters then. Yes. There were lots of other ways of communicating too. Smoke signals, drums, the telegraph. Oh, and carrier pigeons. <laughs> um... Carrier pigeons? That's right. Carrier pigeons were birds trained to carry messages. They were fast and dependable. Oh! <laughs> You'd make a great carrier bird, Pock. <laughs> Pock seems to think so too. He might need a bit of training first. OK, we'll start right away. He just needs a little bag to carry his messages in. <laughs> I think they're all jealous of the bag Grandma made for you. OK, Sue. I'm ready. Off you go, Puck. Hello. Hello, Elsie. If you get this message, hop three times, then jump once with your feet together. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Puck. What are you playing? We're teaching Pock to deliver messages. You know, like a carrier pigeon. Brilliant. Can I help? Of course you can. Let's try Pock over a longer distance. Yes. Elsie, you go back to your house and I'll send you a message. OK. Right, Pock. You've got a new mission. You we're going to play with Zoo. I am. I'm just waiting for a message from him. But the telephone isn't working. I know. Oh. Oh, hello. It's Pock. Yep, with my message. <laughs> hmm. You are my best friend. <laughs> My word! You two have found a very clever way of talking to one another. <laughs> yeah. And now for my reply. Hmm. Anyone want to give me a hand clearing the snow from the path? Oh, I'll help. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Look, Dad, Elsie's replied. Pox really got the hang of message delivery. Bizu, I've had a thought. Do you think Pock could take a message to Zelda for me? You know, the invitation to dinner tomorrow. Pock, could you find your way to Uncle Xavier's shop on your own? Where's the invitation, Mum? Well, well, well. We've had a message from Zoo. What does it say? He's invited us to eat with them tomorrow. Yippee! Is that lunch or dinner? Oh, uh, it doesn't say. I'll ask him. Hey, Pock's back. And 
Johnny's brought a reply. Already? <laughs> You're as fast as lightning. Hmm. Uncle Xavier wants to know if it's for lunch or dinner. Oh, I forgot to say, silly me. It's dinner. Uh, let's say about seven o'clock. OK, Mum, I'll send him another message. Oh, do you think Pop could take my shopping list to Mr Zoe as well? I'd like some stuff delivered tomorrow. No problem. Oh, oh dear. It's starting to snow again. They'll never fix the phone lines at this rate. Oh! <laughs> With a messenger like Park, <laughs> who needs a phone? <laughs> Park, we're tiring him out with all these messages. But he's enjoying himself. Uh-oh, I think Grandpa's been secretly snacking again. There's hardly anything left in the fridge. It doesn't matter. Mr Zoe will be making a delivery tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's too late. We haven't got anything for this evening. I'll just have to go and do a bit of shopping myself. But it's starting to snow again. So, I'll get my snowshoes out. Hey, Mum! Let's pot go instead. We just have to ask Mr Zoe to deliver this evening. But he's been flying back and forth all day. He'll be tired. It's OK, Mum. Pock's had a rest. He can do it. All right. But this is his last trip of the day. <laughs> Looks tired out. Another message from Zoo. It looks like it. Couldn't you come tonight instead? Oh, mm, we'll have to hurry. Oh, Mummy, can we please, darling? I don't see why not. We haven't got anything else planned. All right then. Let's look sharp. Yippee! That'll be Mr Zoe. Ooh, right on time, too. <gasps> uh, hello! Hello! I must say, Pock's an excellent messenger. What a clever way to send an invitation. Oh, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Sorry, we are a little early. Day early? We hurried after Pop brought us your latest message. Uh, yes, yes, it's <gasps> just that... Uh, oh, hey! <laughs> nearly seven o'clock. What are we going to do? We've nothing to eat in the house and three extra mouths to feed. I think Pock made a mistake with the addresses. It's my fault. I didn't explain properly. It's not your fault, Pock. We gave you too much to do. I should have done the shopping myself. So, what do we do now? Pock will go back to Mr Zoe's. Oh, I think he's lost his self-confidence. Oh, Pock. Are you scared of making another mistake? Hmm. Right. You look after our guests while I go to the shop. There isn't time. Mr Zoe closes in less than five minutes. Come on, Pock. You can do it. You're a brilliant messenger. We all think so. Of course we do, Pock. Anyone can make a mistake. At least without the telephone, we got some tidying up done in the shop. We couldn't take any orders. You're so lucky to have a carrier, bud. Mm. We could have done with one, too. <gasps> Good evening. I've got your delivery, just as Pock asked. Oh, thank you so much, Mr Zoe. You've saved the evening. Not me. Pock. I was just about to close when he arrived. I've never seen a bird like him. I know! He's the fastest messenger in Zebra Town, aren't you, Pock? 
And the most tired one, too. <laughs> Zoo and Nana's Blues. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. It's my turn again. Oh, <laughs> missed. My turn now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Hello, Elsie. Hello. Hello, Nana. Nana, is that my photo album? Hmm. She didn't hear you. Hang on, Sue. Hmm. I want to see what Nana's doing with the album I made for her. So, how's my picture frame coming along? Hmm. Not too shabbily, though I say so myself. Look. An especially beautiful frame for some very special old family photos. Oh, my word. You've made a beautiful job of it. My pictures will look lovely. Hmm. It's not quite finished yet. Oh, not to worry. I haven't chosen my favourite pictures yet. <laughs> hey, oh. can we help you pick your favourite pictures? Oh, yes. Please, please. I love old pictures. Well, yes, of course you can. Yay! Mm -hmm. I could do with the help. <laughs> Now, let's see. Um, I like this one. Ah, yes. That's me at the beach. <laughs> I did so love making sand castles. <laughs> oh, this one's really cute. Isn't it? <laughs> I was trying out my new bicycle. <laughs> I was a bit wobbly. <laughs> Pock likes that one. And so he should. <laughs> <laughs> I grew that tomato all by myself. I was so proud of it. Oh, I do love these pictures. Such happy times. The good old days. When everybody was so pleasant to one another and <laughs> so polite. Mm. People took their time. So much less rushing around. Oh. <laughs> Family spent time together. So, you mean the old days were better? Oh, well, let's just say... Uh, they weren't quite the same. Hmm. Oh, no. Your turn again, Zoo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about Nana. And the good old days. Yes. It's a pity she doesn't enjoy the times we live in as much as hers. Well, we could show her that we're just as polite as they were back then. And that we like doing things slowly. And spending time with our family. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Grandma. Ooh. How nice to see you again. Oh, and how very nice to see you too. It looks very heavy. I expect you're tired after your shopping. Here, take a seat. <laughs> Fruit juice, Grandma? <laughs> Aren't they polite? <laughs> Young ones are very nice and polite nowadays, aren't they? Hello, Zoo! Hello, everyone! Hey, Zinnia! Oh, that looks yummy. Uh, Can I have some? Um, actually, it's for... <sighs> oh, thanks. I was ever so thirsty. Your mum left this at the shop yesterday, so Mummy asked me to bring it back. Bye! Uh, oh! Ooh. Perhaps some children are more polite than others. Hmm. I'll go and get some more fruit juice. Thank you. 
But I'd better go and give this to Mum, oh. and then I'll make some fruit salad for everyone. <laughs> there you go. with my fruit salad. Don't you like it? No, no. It's delicious. We just like to take our time. Oh. It tastes better that way. Oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> you see now, some people like to do things nice and slowly. Like when you were little. Thanks for my diary. I've just noticed I've got a dentist appointment. I'm terribly late. Bye. Hmm. Mum's in a rush. Yes. Not like when I was little, I'm afraid. <sighs> Nana, oh. would you like to play a game with us? Yeah. I thought it was time for Zebra Quest. <laughs> Isn't that your favourite television programme? Yes, but we'd rather play with our family than watch television, wouldn't we? Oh, yes. Well, then, in that case, let's play. So, Elsie, guess what? I've got the Zebra Quest game! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Uh, Nana, would you mind if we had a look at Zach's game? Just for a little while? Of course not. You <laughs> run along. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. There you are, Nana. All done. Oh. Oh, you have made a good job of it. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <gasps> Nana, Ooh. Oh, we finished. Yes, can we play that game now? Oh, why don't we play another time? <laughs> I know how you love your video games. Hmm. Oh. Hello. <laughs> why the long faces? Nana was telling us how things were so much better when she was a little girl. And we wanted to show her that our times are just as good. Mm -hmm. But we didn't. Oh, I see. Hmm. It might be that we tend to remember the good times and forget the bad ones. <laughs> I'm sure things didn't always go smoothly when she was little. And now she's older, she might be a little out of touch with modern life. Um, like when someone's playing a game that I don't know how to. Well, sort of. I think she just needs to be reassured that we all love and need her. Hey, that's easy! Recipe. A little, well, um, I could do with a little help reading this music. Music, yes, of course. I'm thinking of buying this hat. I'd love your opinion. Oh, that one's marvellous. I need some music for my latest installation. You couldn't write some for me, could you? Oh, that's a bit tricky, I but, need uh, your advice. Which chimes will be best for my shop door? This one or oh, this one? Well, I think that the... Uh, and I need a kiss. 
You haven't given me a kiss all day. Oh, I am so sorry, Zoo. But I can soon put that right. <laughs> you know, Zoo, <laughs> I must say, on second thoughts, these modern times aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo and the Tortoise. Good morning, Sleepyhead. Morning, Grandpa. What do you feel like doing today? I've got a school project to do. We're doing nature. But I'm not too sure what to write about. I always think better on a full tummy. Let's have some breakfast and see if that helps. I still don't know what to do for my project, Grandpa. Nature is such a big thing to write about. Sometimes when I'm stuck for an idea, I think about something else for a while. Why don't you come and help me in the garden? OK. <laughs> That's the way, Zoo. We'll put the weeds on the compost heap. Compost? Compost is the gardener's magic ingredient. We put the fallen leaves and weeds and potato peelings and so on onto the heap. Then they rot and make compost, which is a sort of plant food. It helps make the plants grow. Oh, so that's why you brought all the peelings and stuff from the kitchen. That's right. They'll help make some lovely compost. That's the way. We'll have plenty of compost for my roses soon. Ooh, there are a lot of leaves, aren't there, Grandpa? Yep. This time of year, leaves start to fall off the trees ready for winter. Ooh, those leaves can go onto the compost as well. Hey, Grandpa, why don't I do my nature project on leaves? We could go to the park and see how many kinds we could find. Great idea. Lead the way, Zoo. Hmm. That's a sycamore seed, Zoo. Drop it and see what happens. <laughs> it's like a helicopter. Yes. It spins so it drops more slowly. <laughs> and the wind can blow the seed to where a new plant can grow from it. Oh, pity it's not a leaf, because all the other leaves look sort of the same. I don't think I want to do my project on leaves anymore. Zipster! Mm. Oh, that sounds like Mrs Zolly. Zipster! Zipster! Ah, Mrs Zolly. Hello, Mrs Zolly. Oh, hello, you two. Who's Zipster? He's a tortoise. I was looking after him for my nephew. I put him in my back garden to walk around. Next thing I knew, he'd gone missing. Well, he must have moved quickly. <laughs> Is he a very <laughs> speedy tortoise? I suppose he must be. I really do have to find him. My nephew will be so upset. Don't worry, we'll help you. Of course we will. Zipster! 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 Hi, Sue. Oh, hi, Ozzy. We're looking for Zipster. My nephew's tortoise. You haven't seen him, have you? No. Mum, can we help look for Mrs Dolly's tortoise? I think we should. All right, everyone. Let's get on with Operation Find Zipster. I must have searched every inch of the park twice now and still no sign of Zipster. If he's not in the park, perhaps we need to widen the search. Hmm. Grandpa, I think I've got an idea. <laughs> lost posters? Oh, what a good <laughs> idea, Zoo. Well, I've seen posters for lost pets before. It's never for a tortoise. Well, there's a first time for everything, Zoo. Your phone number's on the posters, Mrs. Zolly. If anyone finds Zipster, they can call you. Oh, I hope someone does soon. In the meantime, we have lots of other places to search. Oh, dear. 
Still no sign of him. Maybe he's gone home. I'll go and look. Good idea. Mm. And we'll carry on looking here. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm. uh. Hey, Zoo. Oh. I think I found Zipster. Look. <laughs> oh. It does look a bit like a tortoise, I suppose. Sorry. <laughs> I was decorating some rocks last year. I wondered where that one had got to. Oh. <sighs> I know. Maybe he's hungry. Mrs. Zolly said he likes lettuce and cucumber. Maybe we could tempt him with that. Good idea. I bought some lettuce earlier today. I'll go and get it. <laughs> Zipster! Zipster! Here, Zipster! Zipster! <gasps> Hear that, Grandpa? It could be Zipster. Zipster! Zipster! <gasps> oh, it's just a mole. No doubt going to dig a hole in my flower beds. Cheeky mole. Hmm. That looks like a shell. Hmm. It's not Zipster. Oh. Hmm. Grandpa, could Zipster have gone into your shed to keep warm? It's possible. Let's go and see. It's just an old garden ornament. I bought it for your Nana years ago. It looks very real. It does. Hey, if we put it in the garden, Zipster might try to make friends with it. Now that is a good idea. It's got a bit chipped here and there, but well, I don't think Zipster will notice. We've been waiting ages and there's no sign of him. Well, I think Zipster might be too clever to be fooled by a garden ornament. We didn't find Zipster, and I still don't know what to do for my nature project. What are you going to do for yours, Elsie? I thought something about them harvest. Good idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Elsie, supper time. Has Zipster turned up yet? No, but all this looking's made me really hungry. Me too. In that case, let's go and have our tea as well, Zoo. See you tomorrow. Let me know if you find him. I will. See you tomorrow. Still no sign of Zipster. Maybe he made his way back home. Yes, I hope so. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello, Mrs. Zolly. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, not at your house either. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure he'll turn up soon. We'll carry on the search tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bye for now. You'd have thought Zipster would have been found by now. We looked everywhere. Someone will find him. They'll see your posters and take him back to Mrs. Zolly. Hope so. Anyway, what are you going to do for your project? I don't know. I thought about falling leaves. I helped Grandpa put some on the compost today. But then I changed my mind. I'm sure you'll think of something, Bizu. Uh, talking of compost, could you take these peelings out there, please? OK, Mum. <laughs> uh, hmm. Grandpa, there's a sort of hole in the compost. I don't think it was there before. You're right, Sue. It wasn't there earlier. Hmm. I think something's in there. But it's too dark to see. Yeah, hello. Is that you? It's Zipster. We found him. Yay! <laughs> hmm. He's not hungry. I don't think he will be, Zoo. That compost will feel warm and cosy to a tortoise. And because it's cold outside, he's hibernating. Hibernating? Hibernating's when some animals go to sleep all through the winter and wake up in the spring when the weather gets nice and warm again. Wow! We need to let Mrs. Zolly know we've got Zipster here. We better had right away. There you go, Zipster. You'll be cosy in this box all through winter now. 
Zipster looks so cosy in there. He's making me sleepy. I think I'd like to hibernate. You'd miss out on a lot. <laughs> All that fun we'll have in the snow, sledging and, um, and Christmas too. <laughs> Suppose you're right, Grandpa. But at least I know what to do for my nature project now. Hibernation! <laughs> 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 <laughs>